The outlook for the Middle East is divided between the oil importing and the oil exporting countries. For the oil exporting countries, this is a bit of a sweet spot. They're growing at about 6.5% this year. Uh, their trade surpluses are increasing to about $400 billion uh, this year. And as a result of that, they're able to generate uh, economic activity in their own economies and help their neighbors. The oil importing countries, however, particularly those that have been going through a historic political and social transition, are going through a more somber economic time. They're facing the twin shocks, first from the rest of the world, including Europe, where a slow growth environment is constraining their prospects for exporting, remittances, tourism, and the unfinished political transitions in their own societies have caused uncertainty in terms of economic activity and investment. Net result, only about 2% growth for them this year, unemployment continuing to rise, and a big challenge for them is going to be to, be, to uh, manage social pressures from an impatient population against the growing constraints on the financial and economic side. The immediate priority for the Arab countries in transition is how to balance the expectations of a impatient population that wants a transition dividend with the growing financial and economic constraints that come from having used up their external reserves, facing a difficult international environment, ensuring macroeconomic stability over the next 18 months is a big challenge. Beyond that, however, these countries also need to lay the foundations for a new economic model, which is going to be much more inclusive and job-creating growth, where everybody has a fair chance at participating in the gains from growth, and where there are safety nets that protect the poor without wasteful subsidies on energy that are consumed mainly by the rich. So a short-term stabilization agenda and a longer-term agenda for inclusive job-creating growth. Our advice to the oil exporting countries, particularly those that now have uh, large surpluses, is to take advantage of this sweet spot to do two things. One, to ensure that the, their increased spending is being done in a way that it could be easily reversed if the world economy slows down and results in a long period of low oil prices. And two, to use this period to help diversify the economy to create jobs, because jobs for young people is a concern throughout the Middle East, including in many of the oil exporting countries.